Hey, Lemlisters. First of all, congratulations on launching your first campaign on Lemlist. Now that that's done, I'm sure that you want to know how your campaign is performing. And as per the usual, there is nothing easier than that on the Lemlist app. All that you have to do is to choose the campaign that you want to analyze, and then you can toggle from the editor to the reporting section right here on the top right. You can also use keyboard shortcuts. So if you want to move from the editor to the reporting section, you press the R key. And if you want to move back to the editor, you press the E key. Once you arrive in the reporting section, as you can see, you have the entire funnel represented with all of the stats that could be interesting for your analysis. So you have the number of emails sent, opened, clicked on, replied to, and even people interested in your campaign. I'm going to get back to this awesome indicator in just a second. It's unique to Lemlist, and I'm sure you're going to love it. Before doing that, I suggest we just take it from the top and look at each indicator separately. So first of all, you can see that we have an 83% opening rate for this campaign, which is a really good opening rate. Just as a general point of reference, you want this indicator always to be at at least 50%. If it's below 50%, then just make sure that your email deliverability is okay before jumping into any analysis of your subject line, for example. Because it might be that your emails are simply not being sent to people's inboxes, but directly into their spam or promotional folders. Then, depending on your campaign objective, you might either be aiming for a high click rate or a high re reply rate. If you're aiming for people to click on the link in your email, then you want to be sure that it's at at least 40%. If you're aiming for a higher reply rate, then you want it to be at at least 20%. In case the indicator of your choice is below those benchmarks, then make sure that you're targeting the right audience with the right message. So make sure that your general message is relevant to your audience, make sure that your messages are personalized enough and also play around with the subject line, for example. So in short, do some A-B testing, test different scenarios to try and get those rates up. Now, lastly, let's talk about the interested rate. It's a really interesting indicator because it lets you take your analysis further than just knowing if a person replied to your email, for example, because the reply could either be positive or negative and to actually track how many people are interested in your product or service, we included the interested rate in our reporting section. Because let's say that you have 20 people who replied to your email out of 100, then you have a 20% reply rate, which is good. However, only 10 of those people are interested. So this indicator simply lets you track that. Also, as a general point of reference, you want this indicator to be at at least 10%. Now, what do I do if a lead is actually interested? I can just find them here. So let's say that um, Arena replied to my email and her response is positive. I can just click on the lead and on the th three little dots in the top right corner and then mark her as interested. And that will directly include her in this calculation. Okay, so now we looked at all of the positive indicators of the reporting section. Now I'm going to take you to the dark side, to all of the indicators that we'd all rather ignore, but that are really important for your analysis. So if you click on the little devil right here, you'll be taken to this section of the reporting section. You have the bounce rate, the unsubscribe rate, and the not interest rate, which is basically the opposite of the interested rate. As for the bounce rate, just as a general reference, you always, always, always want this one to be lower than 5% because a high bounce rate indicates that you're sending your emails to a lot of invalid email addresses, and that can be really detrimental for your reputation and email deliverability. So it's really worth it to invest into an email verification tool just to make sure that you're not damaging your reputation. Also, if ever you have a doubt about one indicator, about its calculation or meaning, then all you have to do is to hover above this little feature here next to the indicator itself, and you will have the definition of your indicator right in front of you. All right, that's all for me. Thank you so much for listening and happy reporting, everyone.